Hello everyone, welcome to AKSIAS main section of free initiative. This is Santosh Koka. Today we will discuss one question regarding economy subject. Question for 16th August 2024 assess the progress of the PM Gati Shakti plan in addressing logistic challenges in India. What further measures are needed to optimize its implementation? So here we need to follow our three steps before writing answer. First important step is question reading. Within one minute, we need to identify different parts and question tags, keywords, etc. Right? Here, what is the topic here? PM Gati Shakti plan or scheme is our topic, very, very important topic. Here, two parts are there. Assess the progress of scheme and also what are the important measures need to optimize its implementation. Right? Those are two parts. Right. Next important thing is what are the important question tags here? Assess is one important question tag. Assess means we need to provide some important justification part also. Right. Justification part here we need to include our examples or important facts or some data etc. Right. What further measures are needed to optimize its implementation? What means this is a regular or common keyword we need to mention the important uh, points here right that's it next keywords coming to keywords what are the important keywords here progress progress is one important keyword other than that addressing logistic challenges right addressing logistic challenges in india assess the progress of pm gati shakti plan we have already some challenges logistical challenges in india right addressing them we need to provide some VPM Gati Shakti plan progress, right? That is the essence of this question. Next, what further measures are needed to optimize its implementation? Needed measures are clearly asked in the second part, but here in between two parts, we need to connect our challenges also. Challenges in implementation. Very, very important this, right? That is our connectivity part. Next, Coming to brainstorming, we need to spend at least one minute to recall each and every aspect regarding our topic PM Gati Shakti plan when it was started or what are the important goals, right? What are the objectives, right? What are the important aspects here? And also what are the important recent incidents or re recent uh, current affairs issues, right? Regarding that. And also what are the important uh, data, important data and also a report especially. What are the important schemes or laws related to it, right? So each and everything we need to include here, right? Economy point of view, we need to provide so much uh, data uh, or policies, etc. Right? So next, presenting the answer. Coming to presenting the answer, we can complete writing six to minutes, right? That is the important uh, essence here. Uh, already we have taken two minutes time here. So by, for writing one answer, we can take almost total eight minutes here, right? That is our strategy by using three steps before writing answer, right? Here for presentation part, we can use uh, some flowcharts or economy point of view. We can use some graphs also, right? So coming to write a decent introduction, we can start with current affairs intro, right? That is very, very important here. Other thing, we need to connect static part also. So recent current affairs related to logistics and infrastructure in India, right? That is very, very important here. So in 2023, India ranked 38th in the World Bank's logistics performance index. That is very, very important. We can include these type of index because uh, recently, if we observe in 2018, our rank is 44th, right? It was gradually decreased in 2023 to 38th rank. That is good note here, right? This progress is partly attributed to the government's focus on infrastructure development through initiative, these type of initiatives, just a connective point, right? Current affairs introduction, very needed here. Next, we need to provide some details or background details regarding PM Gati Shakti plan as our static part, static para. Right, PM Gati Shakti National Master Plan uh, uh, related to it 2021. It was last in 2021 to enhance multimodal connectivity and reduce logistical costs. That is the main uh, focus area. Despite we have so many efforts in the uh, related infrastructure and logistical uh, area, 
logistic sector in india continues to face significant challenges this necessitate especially pm gati shakti what is the need of uh, pm gati shakti plan uh, starting right that is the main essence here necessitated the launch of pm gati shakti national master plan is uh, we have logistical sector uh, loopholes are some important uh, efforts right next coming to our body part we need to include our logistics challenges in india that is another second keyword in the question right very very important so many aspirants uh, are not writing uh, this particular keyword because in the question itself they have mentioned assess the progress of the pm gati shakti plan in addressing logistic challenges in india but here already uh, examiner we, we should not assume already examiner knows what about uh, these logistics challenges now right we need to provide uh, uh, within flow chart at least we, we need to provide some flow chart here right other than that we can include these type of points by uh, mentioning here right logistics challenges in india high logistics cost is there right logistic cost in india account about 14% of gdp very very important compared to 8 to 10% in developed countries like usa right so very very important fact here so for this reason we need to uh, high logistics costs are there for this reason uh, the progress of pm gati shakti plan was launched next inadequate infrastructure is also very important for example indian railways which carries 35% of freight suffers from congestion and outdated infrastructure leading to delays and higher costs also right this is this point is very uh, interlinked with first point right next fragmented supply chains also one important thing here for example we have trucking industry which handles almost 60% of freight is dominated by small operators with limited capacity and resources right very very important all these information we need to provide from uh, authentic sources economic survey or ministry of road transport and highways etc right we need to provide these type of uh, original sources right regulatory bottlenecks also very important thing here for instance different state level taxes and pro procedures can cause delays at borders especially affecting overall efficiency right state level taxes are very important thing here next coming to second keyword very very important here assess we need to follow our original question tag here already we have mentioned here some logistics challenges in india right next to address these challenges what is the progress of pm gati shakti plan that is we need to assess here right assessment of pm gati shakti plan multimodal integration is first important thing here here it plans uh, mainly our pm gati shakti plan aims to integrate various models of transport right transport including roads and railways and also waterways right so into a unified network right the recent launch of national logistical policy logistics policy in 2022 has complemented this effort by streaming processes and in improving our connectivity across models that is also very very important so according to our pm gati shakti plan uh, aim or objective we have launched this scheme also nlp 2022 very important next digital infrastructure also one more important thing here assess uh, we need to assess one more uh, important thing right the especially the pm gati shakti plans emphasis on digital mapping and geospatial data has enhanced planning and execution also here the use of here geographical uh, information system geographic information system gis based planning has enabled better alignment of infrastructure projects redu reducing our redundancies very very important point we need to give these type of some uh, keywords in between right reduced logistics cost also because of pm gati shakti uh, plan the integration of cold chain logistics with rail and road transport also has reduced post harvest losses in agricultural sector especially right by 10% very very important right so in initial reports indicating these reduction in logistical costs in sectors like textiles and agriculture whereas our pm shakti plan has improved supply chain efficiency here that is 
supply chain efficiency very important thing next coming to our unidentified uh, keyword that is challenges in its implementation right Th this was not there in the question we need to include uh, in between connectivity point right in between two parts what further measures are needed to optimize its implementation was asked but in between challenges in its implementation what is the scheme here pm gati shakti pl uh, plan is here we have noted or we have given some important positive aspects next we are providing these some issues or problems right negative aspect the inter ministerial coordination is one such challenge here so for example we have effective implementation requires coordination among multiple ministries and departments but uh, we are lacking that for example however bureaucratic delays and a lack of clear communication channels have slowed down this progresses especially very important next funding constraints also one important thing each and every thing each and every aspect or sector uh, we can write these type of funding issues right so uh, delays in budget allocations and issues in private sector participation also right very very important ppp partnership right I, uh, these are have uh, posing challenges here next technology adoption also one important thing logistic sector especially smaller operators has been slow in adopting new technologies for example we have automation right and also we have artificial intelligence this resistance hampers the overall modernization efforts envisioned under the under our uh, plan pm gati shakti plan right next we need to provide some needed measures as mentioned in the second part of the question right further measures are needed to optimize its implementation very important right needed measures uh, uh, to optimize its implementation we can give these type of side headings right strengthening coordination is first important thing here establishing a central coordinating authority with representatives from all relative ministries to ensure smooth and timely implementation projects is very very essential here next boosting private sector participation also already we have mentioned one challenge in the uh, challenges sec uh, section right that is uh, that can we can rewrite that particular part right boosting public or private partnership here so ensuring adequate funding for large scale infrastructure projects next enhancing technology adoption also already uh, this part also was mentioned in challenges right uh, for, for example providing training and financial support to small and medium enterprises is very important in the logistics sector to adopt digital technologies improving overall efficiency right next regular regular monitoring and feedback mechanisms also very very important here for example we have uh, periodic reviews right uh, some monitoring robust monitoring framework to ensure projects are on track and any issues are addressed promptly right very very important policy measures are regulatory uh, regular monitoring feedback mechanisms etc right so finally we can connect here uh, with one conclusion line one and of or one to one and of futuristic line right the pm gati shakti plan holds immense potential uh, potential to transform india's logistics landscape etc we can write but here if we follow about needed measures we can achieve something we need to write some target or uh, we, we can connect with uh, uh, certain targets or goals the successful execution of this plan will be a critical dri driver in achieving the goal of a 5 trillion economy by 2025 very very important goal already we have uh, mentioned in so many answers right the, this these type of goals very very important this is the perfect structure to this question we need to uh, spend at least 2 minutes to uh, segregate these type of question tags and keywords that is the main essence of this answer writing right that is the important note right next coming to our answer today niranjan uh, written this answer so let's take introduction central government launched this policy national logistics policy 2023 with a vision to achieve 2 trillion dollar economy generation from logistics very good so next coming to logistics includes transportation through waterways roadways uh, just uh, has included uh, some flow chart very good in the recent budget government embarked around 7 uh, 11 lakh crores for the capital expenditure to overcome the challenges of deficit infrastructure and generate employment etc however there are some challenges in imp implementation along with progress good so next coming to our 
important keyword progress in addressing logistics challenges reduce the turnaround time from uh, 25 25 hours to 23 hours in maritime transportation very good that is because of our pm gati shakti expanded airway logistics with the regional airways connectivity scheme good next enhanced the safety measures in railway by laying 1400 km uh, that, that that is very very important cover che collision avoidance system also around 2.1 times of uh, roadway expanded from 2014 to 2023 as per economic survey all these type of data is very very important with respect to our economy paper especially right we are writing a short answer related to economy then we need to provide these type of facts and examples and also related to data it reports however there are certain challenges here lack of private sector participation that is very important 49% capital expenditure meant by central government delay in monetization of cpus were only around 5000 crore rupees generated uh, uh, during 2023 right monetizing uh, especially regulatory hurdles uh, from ngt cpcb on expansion of railway lines from uh, western ghats and uh, dandakaranya is very very important example also here provided some regulatory issues also uh, as some challenges next needed measures expand the credit opportunity to states from 1.5 lakh crore provisioned in the budget very good attract ppp model also that is very very important next uh, enhance the administration staff for resolving regulatory hurdles very good so all these are related to uh, some uh, needed measures as a solutions to the our problems in some of logistics is key for the uh, 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 key future for transforming the economy by obeying the sustainable principles it needed to achieve 2 trillion dollar logistics economy by 2025 very good uh, uh, very good goal related to our uh, topic right especially overall coming to overall uh, essence of this answer here important thing was missed here so uh, about some pm uh, gati shakti it was launched in 2021 etc uh, that uh, very very essential point need to be written here next also we need to provide as per question tag our challenges logistics challenges in india very very important already we have addressed you have addressed here but what are the important uh, challenges here rather than what are the important uh, transportation facilities are there in the logistics we can draw here the logistics challenges as a flow chart right that is very very important right so technological hurdles or some important uh, fund issues etc right so we need to provide this type of flow chart here in between and also everything according to our keywords very good already included this type of some important data policies also included ngt cpc uh, cp cb hurdles needed measures also included very good overall here we can give for this answer we can give 5 of 5 and half out of 10 marks very good so try to write in separate white paper white pages then it will look good right additionally we can uh, uh, project very very important answers like this right so try to write in white pages then it will look very uh, special right okay then main section of free initiative day 43 question for 17th august 2024 evaluate the impact of 5g technology on india's digital infrastructure and economy what are the key challenges in the implementation of 5g in india that is related to our subject science and technology very very important topic 5g technology right write your answers and upload in the resolved aks app so thank you very much all the very best